Greetings Libra and welcome to Ingress Insights. Hi, I hope you're doing well and thank you so much for stopping in and watching this reading and for subscribing to my channel and for my new viewers, uh, welcome. And let's jump right in and see what it is that the cards have for you. Wow, well, the tower. <laughs> Something is uh, coming down. The higher powers you see are sending this electric shock through your life. And you're, whoa, something is uh, crashing down out of your field of awareness. It's just hitting you um, from uh, blindsided. And it could be um, something in a relationship is coming a, a, apart. It's uh, not built on a firm foundation. And so it's having to crash down. Um, but that's how you see this question. And I do invite you, Libra, to bring your own question, concern, or a challenge. And here we have the tower. So something recently, uh, or the reason maybe you're uh, tapping into this message right now is because uh, you need help and guidance because something just came crashing down and you didn't even know it. Some truth is being revealed. And that truth is causing everything to be turned upside down, uh, turned to rubble. And you're uh, having to uh, bring healing and temperance and balance to this. You see that she's stepping in the water and onto the earth. So she's blending, um, balancing these energies um, that after this crash, uh, these two figures that are flying out, uh, they need healing. They need to know that a new day is coming. You see, the sun is rising. They need to know that the sunflowers can be planted. And she's got those healing red wings of, of health, of bringing that blood flow and renewal uh, to your heart. And you're changing. You're becoming a different person after this uh, tower moment, Libra. And it's changing you uh, to... Uh, from that base metal, lead, and alchemy is changing your personality into gold because you're having to face this. Whatever wasn't um, serving uh, your situation and divine necessity um, brought this crashing down. It could be a blessing in disguise once you begin to heal from this, and it's going to take patience. Wow. Um, to... Um, <clears throat> know exactly how to uh, blend and balance and understand this because you, um, at the foundation, you're taking this energy, you're exploring, you're instigating a whole new way of life, you're taking on a new passion project, maybe after this uh, truth was revealed, after you know that something is coming to an end, and you're going to have to heal and blend and balance. Well, after you do that, uh, go through these processes of transformation, then you're taking this new um, idea, this new passion out there. And it's taking it out to, um, because you have, <clears throat> in the recent past, had a lot of sadness. There's been a lot of grief and suffering. You might have been... Um, uh, suffering, um, this loss, something spilled, a relationship, a job, a way of life, a whole world. But there are two cups still standing. And it's saying after this tower it, of loss, after this tower of grief and sadness and disappointment, uh, there are two cups still standing and to a uh, turn around and look to those now, Libra, the two cups that are standing. And you see there is a passageway, a bridge to this whole new city. And there's a lot of emotion around this. But you're having to move forward to a whole new world because uh, this um, page of wands at the foundation is instigating a new journey. You might be traveling. You might be getting new information or have been studying for a while um, about something that is passionate to you. Because um, you've been shouldering a heavy burden 
you see she can't even see where she's going anymore because she's gathered so many wands. And you took this one wand at the beginning um, here, and now that was what you instigated. You started this project, but now it's become something uh, so uh, burdensome, so um, much of an obligation that you can barely keep going. You could be having a lot of problems with your shoulders, actually, and mus muscular a pain, um, pain with your bones, your skeletal system, your nerves. But you're almost to uh, this new um, uh, village, this new home, uh, this new place uh, that is, you're getting there. Uh, after the tower has crashed, you have to keep on keeping on, persevering um, with this obligation, this responsibility. And you are um, right now needing to uh, know what the present moment is saying, the Two of Cups. Well, right now you're uh, seeing this um, blending, this joining of different, um, two different people, two very different uh, situations coming together. You could be coming together with someone who is um, not like you at all from a whole nother culture, uh, from somewhere uh, far away, from somewhere who thinks very differently than you. But this uh, Two of Cups is right now, there is something about your union, your partnership. Maybe you will be going uh, to an island where there is um, a <clears throat> lighthouse. And this is a very um, healing and loving a place that you're gonna be together. And that's what is coming in the present moment, this union, this focus on this partnership. Uh, because what is um, coming right now, as you see this tower, is coming quick. Something is going to crash down very quickly. Um, you might not even see it coming. It's coming so quick, Libra. And you're going to have to get on your motorcycle and go. And go with this energy, with these banners. Uh, there's a lot of communication coming in. And your environment is the three of swords. Well, uh, your environment, there is a lot of sadness. There's a lot of uh, wounding of the heart. A severance of a relationship. Maybe this uh, two cups has come together recently, but uh, the, it is, this relationship is, being, um, is coming to an end. And you're having to feel that sadness about it. You have this card of um, emotional disappointment and loss and grieving. And you've been carrying this heavy burden about this grief, this loss, what has been spilt, what has crashed down recently, what you've needed to heal and you've tried and you've been, but the healing and in. <clears throat> alchemizing different aspects of yourself and having patience and self-understanding has been a challenge to the tower. You can't, um, this tower is going to come down anyway because it's coming quick with a lot of momentum and your environment, the people you're dealing with, there's a lot of sadness, the end of a relationship. Something has been severed and you're having to, uh, Hope and fear is you're going to have strength and courage uh, to get through this, to use all of those instincts within you, that animal nature to keep persevering, to keep going, to um, use your inner strength. And to um, that's like with temperance and um, strength, have this sense, both of them, of blending together these um, parts of ourselves and they're coming together with strength and you've got the figure eight above your head because you're using your divine um, wisdom you're using that help and guidance from your higher powers to get through this and uh, the four of wands is the advice will celebrate it's time to celebrate this a uh, finish line you're coming to it's like a marathon you've been uh, running this race and the two of you here 
are coming uh, to this portal, to this new uh, realm, to this new world. And that is the advice. Well, wow. So there's a lot of um, uh, success and celebration at the end of this long, uh, arduous uh, journey. Um, after this uh, crashing, you've had to heal and to change. And you've used your energy and, and um, intuition to keep going on this project. But it's brought a lot of disappointment and sadness, Libra. And you have to face that from the past and let go of that grief because it's been, you've been shouldering this grief, this burden, this responsibility um, for 10 months perhaps. And it's coming to an end because something in this relationship, this partnership, this joining, this could be also joining those two um, aspects of yourself the masculine and feminine sides, and that's what's coming, is that inner union, um, because it's coming fast. You're going to be getting on a, a motorcycle and just going for it. The green light is coming, and the environment or someone you're dealing with is um, uh, bringing a lot of, of sorrow. There's an end to a relationship. And you're going to have to have strength and courage to get through this. And you're going to get through it because you're going to a rite of passage now, uh, a celebration, some news that is going to bring a lot of optimism to uh, this couple. As you go through this um, union, marriage, celebration. And uh, that's what I have uh, for you. And so let's get a little clarification here. For my Libra. And why is this tower here for Libra? And thank you so much for overseeing this reading, Spirit Guides. And why is this here for Libra, the tower? Because of the devil. Well, when we have to face uh, the devil, then the tower comes. Uh, the devil is uh, being too caught up in the material world. Too caught up in this matrix. Uh, too... Um, attached to uh, low vibrating energies, an addiction, bad um, belief system that has brought this down, this ruin. You have to look at this entrapment. <clears throat> Something you are really frightened of, that you, a fear you can't face, and so you stay trapped with the devil because you're needing to heal and that you've got the five of uh, wands. Well, there's a lot of competition and there's a lot of uh, fighting and arguing and uh, plans being uh, messed up, uh, delays to this healing, uh, to this alchemizing because you're taking this energy out there uh, toward this abundance, toward independent wealth. And that's this um, at the foundation now. You're going to have um, this um, culmination, which is going to bring a lot of wealth, a lot of security, uh, a beautiful home, independence. Um, after this uh, sadness, you're going to need to bring the King of Cups to this sadness, to have someone who listens. Um, and also, this had behind it uh, judgment. Well, there's a wake-up call uh, coming in about this love, about this emotional um, intelligence, the ability to listen deeply and to be very caring and nurturing, but also uh, have intelligence and emotional intelligence. But the trumpet is coming and is waking up to... Uh, <clears throat> A new life. That's what's happening in the recent past. Out of this sadness, out of this loss and grief and mourning, um, you will have this deep emotional and intelligence to know uh, how to listen and how to wake up and what you need to change and how you need to deal with this because you're um, waking up to this burden you're under. You're waking up to this sadness. And that's been a big burden to you 
for you to carry a responsibility. And you're going to uh, use the queen of swords to cut through to the truth of this burden. And what you need to do, what you need to know, how you need to think about it. How you need to operate now with your mind and use clarity about this uh, cup these, this partnership, well, there's the nine of swords. There's, a, um, there's something about this union uh, that's bringing up a lot of worry, a lot of anxiety. You might be having nightmares and can't sleep because of this union. Um, you're going over and over the same worries, feeling very paranoid, not knowing how to deal with this um, partnership. Because something's coming quick, but the empress is coming quick. You're becoming the empress. <laughs> You're sitting on your throne of love, the ability to give and receive love. And because you've got this nine of pentacles, she's the baby empress. So you've become, you've grown up to the empress, Libra. To have that abundance, that ability to grow and uh, nurture uh, there could be an announcement of a birth of a child, a pregnancy. But it's something uh, very important that's coming quickly in the realm of your abundance, of beauty, of love, of nature itself, of creation. And you've got this, uh, the page of wands again. You have this twice, so this is saying there is a new a journey to be taken. You're going out of your comfort zone. Um, you're having to move on um, in terms of this Three of Swords. You're taking that heartbreak, that severance of a relationship. It could be divorce. But whatever this is, you're having to go on a whole new journey to explore, to learn things that are new, to take your energy somewhere different away from this heartbreak, and also away from this uh, grief and loss. And you're going to have the strength because you've got the Eight of Wands again. There's a lot of energy coming, the green light, your, uh, the momentum. It's happening fast. And you're going to have to use your strength and courage because this um, advice is to celebrate. Whatever this is, this finish line you're coming to, this rite of passage, um, because we have the empress, there could be um, the announcement and celebration of a birth, of a pregnancy, a marriage, because you've got the moon coming to this celebration. Well, the celebration is going to happen under the moon uh, with a lot of intuitive energy, um, with a lot of... Um, uh, Perhaps a uh, deception about this celebration. Uh, something, something could be unclear, deceiving. Uh, <clears throat> you don't have all the facts yet about what you need to know to celebrate. But that's coming uh, for you, Libra. And a very powerful and beautiful reading for you, Libra. Because you're... Um, these are major uh, life-transforming energies when you have the tower and the devil, and then you have temperance and fighting, and then you have judgment coming, a wake-up call to a whole new life, um, closing out an old karmic cycle in this sadness, but with a lot of emotional intelligence because you are letting this burden down at the crown, because you're seeing the truth of the situation. So very powerful. And there's some, um, a lot of anxiety and a nightmare coming about this union. And you're going quickly toward uh, being this empress, uh, loving and receiving love and giving love and nurturing and being creative. Because the Three of Swords, that heartbreak, that relationship that's severed, uh, you're moving on from that. You're having to be creative and uh, learn about uh, this um, new passion. And you've got another Eight of Wands going quickly toward strength. And then the Four of 
wands with the moon. Some uh, something that's not clear, but you might have to use your psychic abilities about this. Uh, what is coming? This uh, celebration, and you are um, abundance number thirteen. Well, there's another, see, this is another partnership like the Two of Cups where there are two uh, different kinds of people, different energies joining together. And look at the fruition here. And there's a lot of um, happiness. You could be having, um, seeing a white feather. You could be reading um, and feeling something, getting information from a text message that's going to be very important to you. And have faith, optimism, excitement, and breakthrough is coming uh, with this uh, celebration of abundance. So abundance is coming out of this uh, situation you're in that's going to bring a celebration and some renewal and a joining of others together. And that's what I have for my Libra. And you know I love you. And... We're in this interconnected field of growing through these uh, radical changes and getting the clarity we need to celebrate with abundance. And so it is. And see you next time. Bye-bye, Libra.